Hello and welcome to the first PES 2018 video on the PES Universe channel. I'm your host for this one, Bibi, and this is just going to be a little bit of advice on how to play PB3 in the new 2018 game. Um, I don't know if uh, a lot of you have played the, the clan matches in uh, the PES beta that's actually just finished, but for me, it's either going to be my go-to mode for the new game. Now, I've played a lot of sort of these clan matches um, or a lot of FIFA beer pro over the years. Um, and a lot of the time it's not even about skill, it's not how you present yourself on the pitch, it's all about teamwork and it's so cheesy to say it but at the end of the day that's what it comes down to, you've got to rely on the two people you're playing with in this game mode to have any sort of success going forward in it. So very quickly I'm going to give you three or four points on how to try and make the best of it. So the first one is squad up. Make sure the people that you are playing with know how each other play, it is the most important part of this game. If you don't know how your mates play um, and, you, and you're going to go into a game with them, it's just going to be an absolute car crash. If you've got a footballing brain, they've got a footballing brain. It sounds stupid, I know, because it's, it's a football game. You shouldn't really need a footballing brain, but it goes, it goes you know, hand in hand. If you've got a pass on, an easy pass to the left or an easy pass in front of you, but you're smacking the ball up to the other end of the pitch, expecting your slowest forward to get to it not going to work is it so what you need to do is just make sure that you know who you're playing with and then you can move on from there second of the second one is we're going to look at your teams if you are a team that like to build up from the back you like the possession football you just like to knock the ball around not exactly showboating but you know making sure that you've still got the ball at the end uh, you know you've still got the ball you keep it all that possession pick the teams that represent that in the game you know i'm looking at your arsenals your man cities uh, your barcelona's to an extent united are pretty good at holding the ball albeit a lot of the times they go sideways <laughs> oh they did last year anyway but you know points points win your games in this and if you can get a team together that's going to keep the ball you're not going to concede many and you're going to score goals you're going to get points it's as simple as that third point we're going to come into is um discipline now it's so it's a lot easy it, it's so easy for you to keep on pressing l1 and switching player now it, it doesn't work in this if you keep on pressing the l1 button you're going to keep on switching play you're going to pick somebody else's player that they're trying to get to it's just going to be a car crash you're going to take a center back into midfield you're going to leave yourself exposed at the back discipline is key in this game if you if you're controlling a center back and you're defending a corner or you're you're trying to intercept a pass make sure you're keeping hold of that player for as long as you need to don't just get don't because the ball's on the other end of the pitch let go of him no keep hold of him bring him into a position that's going to be you know um of use shall we say if you're a midfielder don't keep on staying up front because you're going to be able to leave a massive gap in the middle of the field if you're leaving massive gaps in the middle of the field you're going to get ex you're going to get exposed especially if you're coming up against players who are you know level i'll say level 15 and above who won't know how to play the game you're not going to do very well you're going to piss off the other two players that you're playing with it's not going to go down well for you all right so we're going to look at option four and we're just going to look at passing i know i've covered it in another point but it, as you can this is my i'm red in the screen that you're seeing i'm the red cursor for me i'm a player that likes to pass the ball you know keep keep hold of it if i need to but i'm not going to rush the pass and this is this is perhaps one of my, my favorite uh, my favorite goals in the whole of the beta um, I think I've moved it right from the beginning, but if I'm, if I'm rambling on, just go back a little bit. You'll see that we, could, we, we could, there wasn't anything on, so I passed it back to the keeper. From the keeper, we've built out. We haven't hoofed it. I, I don't even know who these two people that I was playing with, but I'm telling you what, I would love to play with these two again. It was quite, there was similar rating to me, barring Loyal. I think, I think he was rated eight, but he, he had a footballing brain. He knew what he wanted to do with the ball. He's seen what me and, um, me and Yellow was doing, knocking the ball around. And we're giving him chances, we're giving him opportunities to have a dig. Do you know what I mean? It's just working the ball around, not getting rid of it just because you have to. And this is, a, I think this is another another goal where or, uh, where Yellow just pinging the ball around. There's me spraying it out to Green. He knows he's got something on, so he passes it out wide again to Yellow. Um, he cuts him beautifully. I mean, this, this Yellow guy, he, he was unbelievable um, all the way through. You'll see at the very end his stats. It was just incredible all the way through. At one point, he was actually carrying us in the game, but... Um, yeah, just keeping hold of the ball, keeping hold of the possession. If you do that, you're going to win games. If they can't score, if you've got hold, look at that for a ball. They they can't score if you've got the ball. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring us through to our final point. Oh, that's another absolute scream. You see what I mean? It's just the passing in this. It's 
it's so underrated in these games. If you're not playing as a team, I'm going to keep an hammer at home. If you do not play as a team in this, you are going to get absolutely slaughtered. Um, there was sort of two sides of the coin to this match because obviously we was knocking the ball around. They had a man sent off early door because there wasn't discipline. They have had two players leave the game and they were playing against one player. That was a bit of a dodgy one. Uh, but we're playing against one player and he just can't cope with another th another two people that are just spraying the balls around around him. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to bring ourselves into the last point in this. It's quite an easy one. It's something that a lot of people, you know, take for granted, shall we say, in this game mode. And it's just keeping the ball low. Again, it's come down to passing, but I'm telling, I'm going to, as I said, I keep on hammering it home. Keeping the ball on the ground is going to be king in this game. With the shielding, the auto feints, stuff like that. If you can beat, a, you can beat a man with just a left stick on this game. You don't even have to do any skill moves. If you keep the ball on the ground, your player's got, especially with someone like Griezmann. If he's in red hot form, he's got the ball at his feet. He's going to be absolutely lightning in this game. He's going to, and nobody else is going to be able to compete with him. If he's got the ball at his feet, you know he's passing the ball around on the floor. I think I think my, my passing's probably covered about three points today, but you don't understand how essential it is in this game to be able to keep hold of the ball and knock it around. And we're going to see a few stats that are going to come up in the screen here. They are two shots. Look at this. Uh, Al Capone, he got nearly 2,000 points. Now, his shots uh, are through the roof. My passes are through the roof. The assists, um, Loyal's is doing absolutely wonderfully there. But these are the stats. Every time you finish a game, have a look at your stats, see where you can improve. Because if you can improve and get better and increase those stats, you're going to get more and more points as the game goes on, and people are going to want to play with you. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little bit of advice going into these three v threes. It's going to be a game mode that's going to be incredible going forward. But yeah, um, if you do have anything else that you think is going to be worthwhile uh, and is going to be quite critical going forward, leave them in the comments below. Um, we are going to mop them up. I'm, I may even make another video when the game comes out if anything else crops up. But until then, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to serve it, and I'll see you in the next video.